My money says that Wallaby will flatten Buck Morgan thinner than a pancake. What do you say? I'll take some of that. Three English pounds. I'll take some of that. Ten, ten United States dollars. All right. Those two will go miles out of their course to get a scrap like this. That's right, they've been at it for years. There must be some grudge. No, they're the best of friends. I suppose those are just love taps they're exchanging in there. What are they fighting for? Just a slug of rum. Oh, but that's the craziest thing I ever heard. I know it's nutty, but not for Wallaby and Buck. I'll take that right now. It's Wallaby! I knew he'd set in the blighter! Oh, oh, I know! I was going to clean up, boy! <laughs> How do we stand with Morgan now? Well, that puts you two drinks ahead, and Buck, two beatings behind. What are the damages this time? Ah, uh, that's not half enough. Buck's getting off too easy here. When Buck wakes up, tell him I'll be back this way in a couple of weeks and I'll give him a chance to even up. Let's try this one. Put in your slack. Let's get rolling. Hi ho hum. With a bottle of rum, I'm a son of a gun. And the snow and fights and loves to fight like I do. He's a son of a gun. Hi ho hum. Give me coal in my poke and I'll always go broke. For the snow and lives and loves to live like I do. He's a son of a gun. I have sailed the seven seas where the trade winds blow. Travel anywhere I please, hoist the anchor and away we go. I ho hum, with a bottle of rum, I'm a son of a gun. And the snow one fights and loves to fight like I. I ho hum, and a hi ho hum, I ho hum. Sing a sailorman song while we're rolling along When our voices ring, no crew can sing like we do He's a son of a gun Row, row, row Though your ribs may crack and you break your back Let the whole world know no crew can row like we do He's a son of a gun We're not a ship and what a crew I'm a lucky guy With my ship and with my crew I'll keep sailing till the day I die I ho hum with a bottle of rum, I'm a son of a gun, and there's no one fights and loves to fight like I do. Says I blame you for kind of pulling in your sails a little bit. I imagine she did frighten you. Oh, yes, she did, Mr. Wallaby Jim. So you know my name? I should. Norman's never failed to mention you in all his letters. So you're Alice. Well, the young scamp's been holding out on me. He didn't say anything about expecting you. He doesn't know I'm coming. It's a surprise. What a surprise it'll be. You should see Norman when the mail fails to bring one of your letters. You can't speak to him for a week. I feel the same way when there's no letter from Norman. I suppose you can hardly wait to get the rye horse. Well, it's been over three years since I've seen Norman. Why? Aren't you going to rye horse? Well, no. Right now we're headed for Macazar and some very important business. Perhaps it can be arranged. I'll put it up to the crew. You see, we're all kind of partners on the Kestrel. Sort of a close corporation. I'd call a meeting of our board of directors and put it to a vote. Well, boys, hear what the lady said? But, boss, we ain't got no time to lose. We got to get to Macazar and pile our claim on that pearl bead. I'll breathe a lot easier myself, boss, when I see the Royal Dutch seal on our filing papers. Supposing someone else hits on the bet and beats us to it. Those pearls have been there for over a hundred years. They ought to be safe for another couple of weeks. Of course, I don't want to influence you fellows, but... One of you hadn't seen your girl in over three years. She came all this way to see you. I imagine you'd feel... No, let me stow it, boss. You're breaking me off. It's a pretty low trick tearing two lovers apart. I've been thinking the same thing myself, Limey. Wouldn't be very sporting to just dump the lady on the beach. Thanks, boys. I knew you wouldn't let me down. 
Besides, if we put into Rawa now, it'll save us a trip to Macazar later on. Norm will have the bill of sale for the Kestrel, and we can register at the same time that we file our claim. Right, old boss. Anything to oblige your lady. And then with my sentiments, too. <laughs> well, looks like you won. I'm very grateful to all of you. Tell me, how'd you know this was my boat? The captain of the mail steamer recognized her, and when I learned that I couldn't get passage to Raihoa for several weeks, I decided to take no chances and had some of his men row me over here. I hope you're not angry that I came aboard. Oh, <laughs> I hope you're not angry at Maggie's greeting. Now, you did the smart thing, but I warn you, our accommodations are a little rough. We're not fitted out to take passengers. I won't mind. Show you to your cabin after you. You've got to help me. I told you no before, didn't I? But can't you realize what this will mean? Wallaby will lose a Kestrel. Let me have that money, so he can clear the ship. I'll square it, every penny. But you've got to. I can't face Wallaby. You should have thought of that before gambling away money that didn't belong to you. Go on before I throw you out. No one and Norman. My man go away, no come back. All right. All right, I I'll look into it. kind lady for your generous applause. Oh, well, I'm glad the lady's only imaginary because you really had me feeling sorry for her. You hear that, Limey? My singing must be improving. I move my audience to tears. <laughs> Limey, you've outdone yourself. I might almost imagine myself in the Explorers Club in Shanghai. Thank you, boss. I hope the lady likes it, too. She will. Come on now, hurry up the food. If the dinner isn't fit for a king, I'll wring your scrawny neck. Right, eh? 
Slimy! Come here! Now, what's the idea of this fore and aft spread, huh? Oh, I see. I'm oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> That's more like it. Oh, it's a lovely night, and the stars are shining bright. The weather is sure a treat, but I'll soon be where. Who's there? The lady with the two left feet. Oh, I hardly knew you. Oh, well, I don't wonder. Your first glimpse of me wasn't exactly flattering. I thought I'd fallen into the hands of pirates. <laughs> Looks like quite an occasion. It is. We don't often have the opportunity of playing host to a charming young lady, especially the prospective bride of a partner. How is Noah? Oh, fine, fine. I was rather worried about him. His last few letters weren't very encouraging. Well, to tell the truth, it's been rather tough sledding for all of us, but Norman's more than held up, is he? I'm sure he would. And I'm so grateful to you. Norman's told me how much you helped him. Now prepare yourself for a real treat. When it comes to cooking, Limey's an artist. But the boss is just spoofing a bit. If he didn't have a stomach that could stand nails, I'd have killed him a long time ago. Oh, 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 oh. Why, you thieving rat. Still a limey bank on huh? Give me that dough. Jim, come quick, please. What's happened? Pasquale and Jake, they fight with knife. Your pardon me? Oh, excuse me, miss. Who started this? I caught him robbing Lyman's bunk. Shelf. Why, the slimy cockroach! Pascal, you're new with us. You've been on this ship long enough to know how we punish thieves. No! No more thieves! No! Let me snap into it after that workout. I can eat a whale, blubber and all. I get what? Sorry to have kept you waiting. What's the matter? Do you like salad?
Tutti. Me no can go down. Get back down there, lazy scum. No. What to do? Ah! Oh, yeah. Have you gone crazy, Richter? Ah, they need something to jack them up. Is that any reason why you have to commit murder? Do you realize what will happen if Wallaby finds out about this? How will he? These natives won't get back to tell them. I'm sure you won't tell them. Listen, the natives are on my neck already wondering why their men don't get back. You know I'm accountable to Wallaby for their welfare. And you are also a to Wallaby for the money he left with you to pay for the castle. Is not that so? Richter, I have to have that money before Wallaby gets back. You won't let me down, will you? No, of course not. You do as I tell you. And by the time Wallaby gets back, your share of these pearls will more than cover your losses. Dry hoa. It's lovely. I think it is. In the native tongue, it means abode of peace. How perfectly it fits. To me, it's the most peaceful spot in the world. Suppose you're in any hurry. Pascal, you're taboo and Raoul from now on. After I've put you ashore, don't let me catch sight of you again.
<laughs> Your Honor, Your Honor. <laughs> what does that mean? Greeting. <laughs> Lana, how are you? Just children. Jim don't love Lana anymore? Well, sure, sure I do, but you're getting too big for this sort of thing. You're a lady now. Ladies, no kiss? Well, uh... If ladies no kiss, then Lana don't want to be late. You lady? You no kiss? Uh, I brought you a very special present. What a lot of vamping you can do now. Lana, I don't want to do a lot of vamping. Just a little bit for Jim. <laughs> we'll talk about all that later. Now, run along. Uh, she's a case. I've got to find a husband for her. Oh, so arranging marriages is also one of your duties? In my spare moments, I'm also father confessor, doctor, nursemaid, <laughs> butt <-cotter. laughs> You do have responsibilities. That's right. Hello, Tongo. Is Tuan Norman at the trading post? No, Tuan Wallaby. He go to other part of island this morning. He not come back yet. All right, Tongo. You'd better go up to the bungalow, Allison, and wait for Norman there. Why me? Take Miss Allison up to the bungalow. Wait a minute, boss. You say, Miss? I'll be up at the post, Jake. Okay, boss. Oh, wait, I got a throw plane down here. Oh, look, look, look. Look, look. Wonder where Norman put that bill of sale. Hello, Norman. <laughs> hey, kid, you look as though you're kind of tore loose a bit. Although I can't say as I blame you, bottle's about all there is to keep a fellow from going bad. He's been kind of lonesome. The only thing I got against you is you started celebrating too soon. You should have waited till we all got here. That's right. <laughs> We're chock full of good news. And boy, have we now, hit. wait a minute, wait a minute. I think that'll keep. Right now, Norman's more interested in hearing about a certain lady that's waiting for him up at the bungalow. Lady? Yeah, she's come a long ways to see you. You mean... Allison is here? That's right! <laughs> if I could find a lady that liked me well enough, I'd believe I'd get married too, wouldn't you? No. No. I don't believe I would either. It wouldn't be fair to her. She'd have to put leg irons on me to keep me around. But come on, we can't keep a lady waiting. We've got to get you cleaned up. By the way, Norman, don't forget to remind me to take along that bill of sale for the cash. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Jim, I... I lost that money you left with me. You lost it? How? Gambling. Oh, Jim, I, I didn't mean to do it. I, I was going batty. Allison waiting for me at home. Everything looked so hopeless. Days, weeks, months passing. I, I couldn't stand it any longer. I, I thought I could win enough to... Get me home. First Pascal and then you. It's not surprising one of his breeds stealing from a friend. You. I'll pay it back. All of it, if you'll give me a chance. It's too late for that, though. What are you going to do? Throw me back on the beach? Right, well, anchor in the morning, I'll see that you and Allison get as far as Singapore. Allison, you won't tell her, will you? It'll mean the end of everything. She probably wouldn't believe me. But listen, Jim. The great Wallaby Jim, friend and protector of the helpless. You're just an uncivilized brute who delights in manhandling people. What courage it must take to strike down a man half your size. To tie up a helpless man and lash him. How proud you must be of yourself. stay here a minute longer than we have to. I'd die before I'd accept any favors from that tyrant. 
What is it, dear? Too bad. You thought a lot of them, too, didn't you, boy? Hey, if they take that boat away from us, we're sunk. We're taking no chances. We'll sail with the tide in the morning. Once we get the Macazar and file our claim, we won't lose it. Hey, what's Richter doing here? I'm going to find out. Is that any of your business? Yes. I've told you before to keep off this island. It's a pretty big order, Wallaby. Seems to be enough room here. Not for both of us. You and your men be out of here by morning. Strike, eh? I tell you, the place is crawling with birds. And here's a sample of it. It's the biggest strike they've had in the islands for years. It'll take Wallaby five days to get to Makassar. That'll give us time to strip it dry. Jumping claims she's very bad at business, Richter. Besides, the Demodocho prisons is a no good. I agree with you, Joe. I know from experience. Perhaps there's a way of working with the law instead of against it. If we could beat Wallaby to Makazar and fight on that claim... And how do you figure on getting there? We could never make it with that lugger of ours. And there is no more boats in the harbor. There's the Kestrel. The Kestrel? Yeah. Wallaby won't be able to put out until morning. A lot of things can happen between now and then. Mm -hmm. Take a tip from me. Don't depend on people too much. When they let you down, it's not so easy to take. Why are you unhappy tonight? Lana, do something make you feel bad? No, Lana. You're a good girl. Jim always tell Lana, sing when she's unhappy. Please, Jim. You sing and be happy. Sing song Lana likes so well. You're quite right, Lana. I should practice what I preach. I don't 
understand. What happened between you and Wallaby Jim? You were such great friends. And everybody you wrote, you told me what a grand person he was, how much he'd helped you. Are you defending him? Oh, Norman, how can you say such a thing? Why? Oh, sign on you. You can't very well blame him, can you? What are you figuring on doing now? I'm pulling out of here in the morning. Wallaby's taking me as far as Makassar. What about your share in the strike he has made? Strike? What strike? Didn't he tell you about it? No. Wallaby has found one of the richest pearl beds in the islands. Some kind of a dirty trick of a Wallaby to kick you out just the when he find the pearl. Passage home is a poor way to pay you off for three years of rotting away in this hole. Is that not so? Why, he's making a fool of you. He cheated you. Well, if he were on the level, wouldn't he have given you a chance to pay back what you took? You do as I say, and instead of going home broke, you'll be a rich man. Think of your fiancé. What have you got to offer her now? Nothing. All right, Richter. That's the way to talk. And what about the castle? Do we grab her? No. Why go to all that trouble? Wallaby is going to sail his own ship and help us without knowing it. Now listen carefully, kid. You go back to Wallaby now and tell him you are not leaving with him. When Jim leaves, he take Lana with him on his boat? Oh, no, Lana, that's impossible. Please, Jim. Now, Lana, you be a good girl and run along home. Jim busy. Take him right over here. Lana, get my medicine kit. What happened? Not know. We find chemo floating on water. By point. They have chemo. Richard, we take men die very deep for pearl. Me no can die. He shoot him. Where are the men? Fairly. Fairly. Lagoon the other side of the island, eh? You say nothing to nobody till Jim find out what happened. Lana, go get Limey and Jake and tell them to come here right away. Now remember, you tell nobody what you see, understand? I'm getting a little jumpy.
Cut those natives loose. Aye, aye, boss. Did he find out? I don't know. They took us by surprise. I bet Norman talked. Ow! Oh, stop bellying. It's only a scratch. Little bit in the side is a more better than to put on the scratch. Yeah. Come on. We'll keep out of sight until Wallaby leaves in the morning. But you've got to do it, Allison. That new pearl bed I found, it, it means our whole future. You don't want me to go home penniless, do you? But, Norman, why can't I go with you? But, darling, I've explained all that. I've got to stay here to protect the property. If I leave, someone might jump the claim, and, and I'd lose everything. I'll join you in that, because I just as soon as I can. All right, dear. I'll do as you say. I only want to help you in every way I can. All right, now. Now, all you have to do when you get there is to give this letter to the Dutch resident. He'll file my claim, and I'll have legal possession of the pearl bed. And be sure no one finds out about this. Oh, boss. Well? Rick and his gang left. Me and Jake covered the island from stem to stem. I, uh, I'd like to talk to you before you leave. Go on down to the boat, Limey. Right here, boss. Jim, I... I'm not going home. I'd never have a moment's peace of mind if I left here without squaring things. I'm going to stay here until I pay back the money I owe. How? I'm going to another island where I can start with a clean slate. What about Alice? I'm sending her home. Well, for her sake, I hope you're successful. Everything went off without a hitch. Take Lana, so Lana swim to the boat and hide. Well, you're going to swim right back again. No! Jake! Jake, catch her and bring her back here! Hey, hey, boss! Lana! Lana! Lana. <laughs> Well. Oh, hello. That song you fellows sing about, um, 
What a captain, what a crew. Certainly fits you perfectly. Yes, ma'am. I mean, no, ma'am. That's right. I, uh... uh -huh. Well, where is she? Well, she took this thing off and threw it right in my face. And then she locked herself in her cabin. <laughs> she did. <laughs> and if Miss Allison hadn't been there, I'd have brung her up anyhow. Tell me, Jake, do women always get their way? Oh, well, seems like Lana does. All right, give her back a sarong and leave her on board. send her away. She put spell on you, take you away from Lana. You have nothing to fear from me on that score, Lana, I can assure you. Then why you come on Kestrel without your man? You have love charm. You put spell on Jim and take him away from me. <laughs> Who'd have thought there'd be women scrapping over me? I'll tell you, but don't repeat. You know, old pal, my only gal is the lady with the two left feet. What's ailing you, Lana? Jim, you mean to Lana. You know, you're some eyeful. I could kind of go for you myself. <laughs> I'm going to be rolling in dough pretty soon. I might even marry you and take you back to the States with me. Buy you a lot of doodads and make a real lady out of you. Doodads? What's this doodad? Oh, a lot of swell clothes and sparklers for your fingers and silk stockings. Doodads, they make Lana like white girl? Sure. Maybe if Lana were a doodad's team love, Lana? Oh, you're passing up a big chance, Lana. I don't mind telling you that when I put on full sail, I'm pretty hot stuff. A regular ball of fire when I put my mind to it. You know, there's been plenty of women crazy about me. Yes, plenty crazy. <laughs> he's a ball of fire, he's. <laughs>
funny. Give me that letter, Lon. It doesn't belong to you. I'm sorry. What have I always told you about stealing? But, Jim, Lana only wanted charm to make you love her. Three of the worst cutthroats on the island. Is the pearl bed that Wallaby Jim discovered at Moreau? Yeah. How did you know? Boy, the dirty thieving rat. Why don't on our claim? Here, take the wheel. Hey, boss, take a look at this. Where'd you get this? From Miss Allison. You gotta put back tomorrow. Of course, what about Nikazar? No use filing on a claim after it's been stripped. Chances are the Richter and his gang are there now, looting the bed. Get all hands on deck. We're going to turn back. And cloud her with every inch of sail she's got. We're going to make Moreau by morning. We have to tear the sticks out of her. All hands on deck! All hands on deck! It's mighty sporting of you to give up this letter, Allison. How could Norman have done such a thing? How could he have betrayed your trust and used me? Not entirely to blame. Unless I'm greatly mistaken, Richter hatched this whole thing and forced him into it. We really ought to thank Wallaby. He has made us a present of the richest pearl bed in the islands. Say, let's hurry up and get out of here. Because maybe Wallaby come by and by. We're safe for the present. It'll take Wallaby five days to get to Makassar and five days to get back. We are going to stay here until we have stripped this bear dry. Richter! Richter! The Castro! <laughs> Maybe something is wrong because uh, Wallaby don't have a time to go to Makassar and come back. I bet you that dame gum things up. Doc, there's no time to talk about it now. We'll get out of here before they sight us. Take care of those natives. I arrest you. Come with me. All right. Let them come. We're 
We're ready for him. I have a better idea than standing here and exchanging shots with Wallaby. I've got the pearls. Just as well make a finished job of it. You can have his boat. How are you going to do that? We'll get out of sight. The moment Wallaby's gang hits the beach, we make for the castle. Understand? Take him along. Come on, clear! Slug, boss. Not cold. All right. Untie him. There they are now. Well, this is no good. We're heading for the castle. Come on, back to the boat. They're coming on board. Come, we hide my fault. When I think of what I've done, I... Why can I take you out? Come on, get back there and hold away on that line. No, no, no. That's enough from you. Swine. catch up to us. And I had intended to give them a good spray of lead as a parting gesture. <laughs>
why don't you finish me? No, I've decided to let you rot in one of those Dutch prisons. I'd rather not. Why not? They're your share. You're entitled to them. Well, I, I don't know what to say. I... You'd better start for sure or you'll miss your boat. We'll never forget you, Jim. If you do, I'll haunt you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Norman. All right, shove off. Well, Maggie. Looks full walked out on us. Long I no walk out on Jim. That's right. I've still got you and Maggie, the lady with the two left feet. Give me one. Yes, sir. Hey ho, with a bottle of rum, I'm a son of a gun, and the snow and fights and loves to fight like I do. Where the trade winds blow, travel anywhere we please, hoist the anchor and away we go. Hey ho, hum. With a bottle of rum, I'm a son of a gun, and there's no one fights and loves to fight like I do. Oh, oh, oh. 